Back in 2018, I installed a BL Touch sensor on my Creality CR10 3D printer and I showed the whole process of doing that in uh, Vlog 177. And if you haven't seen uh, that video, I will link it on screen right now so you can watch it. That was one of the most popular videos I have on my channel and now after using the uh, printer with the sensor for about two years I can clearly say it's one of the best upgrades you can do to your 3D printer because it will improve printing quite a bit especially those first layers and it's pretty cheap to add this sensor to your printer. I won't go into too much detail about uh, what this sensor does, how it works or how to install it because that's discussed in Volo 177. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com, a professional PCB supplier who can offer 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for just $2. You also have a selection of solder mask colors with no extra cost and affordable laser cut stencils, so it's definitely worth checking them out. However, I did experience a downside after this upgrade. Some users are reporting the same problem while others don't face this issue. It's important to note I am using a BL Touch clone which is called 3D Touch. I purchased this from AliExpress. It's the type that has a metal push rod through the middle. The issue I'm having is a vibration noise coming from that metal pin vibrating inside the channel of the sensor when the printer moves on the y-axis. And this issue might or might not be present on a genuine sensor or just another unit which might have tighter tolerances so I would appreciate your feedback in the comments below. Please let me know if you are experiencing the same issue and what type of sensor you are using on your printer. A few months after installing the sensor, I noticed sellers on AliExpress were offering a newer version of the sensor which now had a plastic pin instead of the metal one. So I figured I'd give it a try given the redesign of the pin. My problem could be solved on the newer unit. I've had this uh, sitting for a while in a box, but here it is uh, next to the uh, previous model. Um, I believe they are just copying and iterating uh, these models based on the original sensor called BL Touch. But in any case, I'm um, curious to see if this newer design behaves differently uh, because they've obviously changed at least this uh, this pin is now made out of plastic it should be pretty easy to install it seems to have the same interface and pin out and i do have uh, some pin headers for connecting to the uh, 3d printer motherboard so there is no need for cutting wires or soldering and through the magic of editing this should take just a few seconds the new sensor is installed and right away I noticed a decrease in that vibration noise but it's not completely gone. It's true that the new sensor has a tighter tolerance and that pin doesn't vibrate as much in the body of the sensor but still the vibration is not completely gone. Let's listen to some samples. And I'm pretty sure there is another uh, source of vibration noise on my 3D printer because even with the sensor removed, I still get a uh, vibration noise coming from the printer. I couldn't pinpoint the source of the remaining vibration noise so I'm not sure where it's coming from but the new sensor does its job and if you plan to do this upgrade to your 3D printer then it makes sense to get the uh, latest model of this sensor. It is a slightly improved version over the previous one so I will place a link in the description below uh, for you to check out this uh, new sensor. Some of you might recommend uh, upgrading the stepper motor drivers to the Trinamic silent ones and while that might solve the problem it's not really a solution because it's pretty expensive to do that upgrade and I would rather just uh, get a new 3D printer that would feature a bunch of other upgrades as well. 
I've checked most of the uh, screws on the printer and they are nice and tight. There's no vibration coming from the screws. Uh, but I think there is a possible source of uh, vibration from the uh, limit switches present on the printer. There seems to be a, a slight give and play in the mechanism of the switch and with that spring uh, lever that each of these limit switches has, uh, it might produce a vibration noise when a certain frequency goes through the frame of the printer but there's hardly anything I can do about those. I'm not sure if there are any switches which are better made and uh, they could avoid this problem. And I'm not even sure the vibration is coming from those. I've just identified it as a possible noise source. As always, I would appreciate your feedback. It would be nice to hear if you have a Creality uh, 3D printer or any other brand of 3D printer. And if you're experiencing the same vibration noise coming from your 3D printer. And most importantly, if you've been able to pinpoint the source of the uh, vibration. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with a new video.